All right, we're back. Let's get working on this banana loop challenge. All right, so what we got to do is we we have a banana tree. It creates 50 bananas, and it it puts the bananas all around randomly, puts their spot down, but it also gives each of the bananas a random mass. So we need to color the bananas a different color based upon their mass. So if the banana's mass, mass is from zero to one, we need to color the banana green. If the banana's mass is between one and two, one to two, we should color it red. If the banana's mass is between two and three, yellow. If it's from three to four, gray. Four to five should be purple and five and greater should be black <clears throat> okay let's take a look at our code over here and let's see what's going on all right if you'll take a look up here at the top we have some predefined colors we've got green is this and it's got the three rgb and these colors will cause the banana to look like a greenish color so that's green then we have red yellow gray purple black okay all right so um right here is where we need to actually write our loop and if you take a look if you take some time to read some of these comments around here you can get a sense for what's going on so in the ready function which is what plays at the very start it says call the function spawn bananas and then it puts the number 50 in there the comment says this will create 50 bananas with random masses from 0 to 6 so if we scroll down you can see the spawn banana function and there's the total bananas so that's the number of bananas we want and then each one of these lines has a little note next to it so we can figure out which what they do this one creates a random number this one um, is, is the banana creator loop. So that's a while loop. So it's going to keep running as long as we haven't reached the number. <clears throat> or as long as the number is not at zero. So if it, was, if it was one, it would only run one time. And if it's 50, it's going to run 50 times. It mixes up the numbers. It creates an X and Y location it loads some banana scenes so look right there it's got a bunch of bananas see I can figure out where these bananas are by looking at this path so it says go to the scenes folder and then the objects folder and then there they are look at that we got bananas zero one two three four five there they all are so it looks like we are loading each one of the bananas into of the letter B and then zero one two three four or five then we store each of the bananas into its own array so the random banana array and then it, this holds all those different bananas that just got created or loaded then it picks a random banana from zero to five so it grabs one of these then it grabs a random location for x and y then it adds the banana to the scene puts it at the right location and picks a random mass for it and then it goes to the next banana so that's um, how this works you don't really need to know all that to make this work I just thought you might be curious this is what this function does <clears throat> I had to make a little timer here because um, I needed a, like a little bit of a delay so I added a little delay so we could recolor the bananas if you don't have that delay it, it doesn't want to work so okay let's check out and see how we can color one of these bananas okay so right here this says this holds all of the bananas in the holder and this says this will recolor you can recolor a banana like this let's see if this works let's uncomment this and let's hit play uh oh no 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 did not work let's see I see it's out of order let's switch this I will do cut and I will do paste let's try it 
play. Close. And looky there. It colored one of those bananas green. Let's try again. Let's see which one it colors green this time. Oh, that banana this time. Okay. So the reason it didn't work at the very start is because the it was out of order. So I rearranged it. So the top part says, this holds all the bananas. And then this says, go to banana zero and color it green. All right, so if I said banana 15, it's gonna go find banana 15 and it's gonna color it green. Okay, so close. That must be banana 15 right there. And likewise, we could, we could do this multiple times. We could do banana, we could say this banana two should be green. We should say good banana four should be green. And then I could play it again. And now I'm going to have three different bananas. Two, four, and 15. I think that's what we did. So there's three bananas colored green. All right. Now we don't just want to pick a random banana. We want to color them based on their mass. Ooh, I also can choose different colors. So let's try a different color. So instead of green, let's do red and then, and then yellow. No, yellow is probably going to be pretty obvious. But there we go, black. Let's see what that does. So this one says, go to banana 15, color it green. This one says, go to banana 2, color it red. This one says, go to banana 4, color it black. All right, so if we play this again, you will see that there we go. One, two, three. <coughs> it picks the bananas and colors them. OK, so that's how the coloring stuff works. All right, all right, we're learning something. All right, what about the mass? How can we find the banana's mass? So if I say bananas, and let, let's check out banana zero again, and we want to know its mass, so I'll say dot mass. But in order to actually see it come down here, like if I want to find the mass of the banana, I would say print banana mass. All right, so let's see if it print if it prints a number out for banana zero, and see if we can get the banana's mass. So if I hit play, let's see, did it print it out? Look there, banana zero's mass is two point zero eight. All right, so that banana should have been colored uh, two point zero eight. It should have been a yellow banana. So it's probably right, but. We didn't do it. All right, so let's run it again. This banana, now banana zero, is going to be up oh, 2.089. That's another two. Let's see what we get this time. I'll do it again. There we go, 1.3. That banana should have been red right there. All right, so hopefully this will help you guys. Um, so this is how you could color the banana. And this is also how you could find the banana's mass. All right. <clears throat> I'm going to load another video that actually shows us doing the for loop. If you can do it on your own, then go ahead. I'll see you guys in the next video.